So today we will attempt to perform division using the original Odner in a way that doesn't come up as a full integer when the operation is completed and we will show how the machine itself handles decimals which is a very manual process but interesting nonetheless from a mathematical standpoint so for starters we set the machine up just as before when we do division say shift the carriage all the way to the right and we wish to divide 358 input this into the accumulator register and we set this thing, the decimal indicator put it just behind the integer component of the number we wish to divide we clear the input and we clear the product register then we move up here and we see that we wish to divide by 32 and we move another decimal indicator to be just behind the integer component of the uh, divisor or the number we wish to divide by I'm, um, I'm a Swedish national so I'm not the greatest at mathematical terminology but I do try now we need to determine where in the product register our decimal point will go and this is done by calculating in the accumulator register we see that we have 10 digits behind the decimal pointer and in the setting register we see that we have four digits behind the decimal pointer so the formula for, for this is decimal or digits after decimal pointer in accumulator subtracted by the number of digits in the setting register so that is to say 10 subtracted by 4 so we get 6 and I move it to be just after the 6 leaving us with 2 digits and 6 decimal places then we start the division as usual by the handle and cranking it until the bell rings cranking it back one moving on to the next step cranking the handle until the bell rings and cranking it back so we can tell now that the integer part of the uh, result is 11 and then we proceed turning it and the machine says that no you have to complete the full revolution before carrying on it's 11.1 .1. It looks like the focus got a bit dubious there, so 11.3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nope, not 9, so complete the revolution, go back one, 11.18, and we shift and we rotate again and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one back 11.187 shift the carriage 
Continue subtracting. Not adding, subtracting. Sometimes it's difficult to keep track of these things. Especially while talking about stuff. And as we can see, came out even. Zero in the accumulator. 32 in the setting register. And finally, in the product register, we have our answer. So 358 divided by 32 is 11.1875. So now that we've done this, we do as usual, clear the product register. Don't really need to clear the setting register, or excuse me, the accumulator. And then finally, we clear the setting register and we're back to where we were when we started. Thank you for watching, if you're still with me.